Welcome to another video with Mr. Long and we're looking at word processor and Microsoft Word and we're looking at a drop cap. First of all, what exactly is a drop cap? Well, you might have a book, maybe you've read a book and you've noticed like on the first page, you would have seen something that looks like that, where the first page, that first letter is quite big compared to the rest of the text. Now that's an example of a drop cap. So we can learn how we can do that to our document. So to add a drop cap, it's very easy. Uh, first of all, we're going to go to insert. I'm going to click on insert and right at the end here by the text, you'll see there's some option. You can't, you might not even see the text for it, but you can see the symbol there. There is add a drop cap. So that's the option that we want. Now, first of all, you must select what it is that you want to drop. For example, what you want to make really big. Now, don't select the whole word because then it'll make the whole word drop cap unless that's exactly what you want. But most of the time you want just the first letter. So I'm going to select the first letter of my paragraph, my first paragraph, I'm going to come here to drop cap. Now there are a couple of options. You can have none. If you want to remove a drop cap, then you would select the none option, but you can drop it. And there you can see by default, it drops it over three lines. You can see there are three, uh, when I went over there, you can see it's three lines worth of drop cap. If you want the drop cap to rather be in the margin, then you can do that and so it'll move it right to the end, or you can go to drop cap options and that will give you more power and flexibility of what you want to do. So if I, let's try that option. So when I come here, you can specify if you want it dropped or if you want it in the margin. So you can specify. You can specify what type of font it's going to be, if it's a particular style. And you can say how many lines to drop. Maybe you only want it over two lines or maybe you want it over four lines, for example. And then the distance from the text you can specify as well. So I'm going to specify that it's dropped over four lines. I want it dropped there and not in the margin. I want it like that. I'm going to click OK. Boom. And there we go. That is your drop cap. So there we go. And if I want to change it, you can just select your drop cap. So let's select it. And we can come back here to the option that you can say none to get rid of it. Or we can go to more options. Go, you know what? I actually want it in the margin. So I'm going to click it in the margin. And I want it over two lines, please. Let's go to two lines. So if I do that, there we go. It's a very small one now, but it's in the margin. So there we go. So that's how you change your drop cap. So just to recap, you go to insert. You go up to here to the text part where you select the drop cap options, but make sure you've selected which text you want to do first. For example, if I do this whole word and I drop cap that, it'll do the whole word. If that's what you want, then do that. But most of the time people like to do one letter, the first letter of a page. And that is drop caps. To find out other features about Microsoft Word, go to our YouTube channel, click on that subscribe button, support us. Go look at our playlist. You'll find lots of videos on Microsoft Word over there. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.